What's up, everybody? It's Bill from High Volume Games, and welcome to another episode of Bill's Day Off. We are back for the first time in 300 days. We are getting a game on the table. And so today, we are going to play a game I've been waiting to play for a while. Um, we're going to play History Maker Baseball Express, um, which came out last year. Um, An add-on to the History Maker Baseball game by Play Games. Um, it is, it's, it's a fun take on the game because instead of doing every at-bat like you would, um, you're playing every half inning and you're getting, um, you're not getting like the per, you know, at-bat results, you're getting all the highlights. So it makes the game go by much quicker. And when you're trying to do, say, a 162 game season, it's definitely a way to uh, get it much quicker and with a lot less pain no <laughs> so um i'm definitely looking forward to this i think we're we're set we're back up and running the uh i don't think we have the bugs again the computer is new um i solved all the problems that i was doing with the running videos so i think we're set for a good day here um so what i decided to do was um over the past few months i've been uh you know training for the Dopey Challenge, and I've been chatting with uh, Jared from the Jar Ox and Spoon channel. Uh, he is the leader of the Run Disney Slackers, and he's also an Atlanta Braves fan. And I don't hold that against him. No, <laughs> no we, have a ver we have a very friendly rivalry. Compared to most people on Twitter, our, our Atlanta Braves versus Miami Marlins rivalry is very friendly. And... Uh, so we've been we've been chatting back and forth about baseball, and I decided, you know, for my first video back, I wanted to do History Maker Baseball Express. And I wanted to add uh, a little bit of the Run Disney Dopey Challenge, you know, into it by uh, having the Miami Marlins from 2021 take on the Miami, uh, the Atlanta Braves from 2021, uh, and then have Jared kind of give me a team mock-up for the game for the series so what we have going on is it's going to be a three game series i think today we're going to do game one and then in the next episode we'll do two games two and three um, that way because we'll probably talk a little bit more about what's going on with the cards and stuff like that All right. so here we are uh today's game um if you haven't played history maker baseball uh, it's a little different from other baseball games uh instead of numbers and stuff like this all the cards have you know qualities so you have pitching qualities you have batting qualities you have fielding and running uh, and each roll of the dice you'll take um, a question or two or three from here and then put it onto that person's card and if it's yes you'll get a result if it's no you keep going and you will eventually get a result uh, either way so what will happen is it's like it'll ask is max Fried an ace pitcher no is he uh you know is brian de la cruz a home run king no then it's this okay so it's kind of like that and for express because we're not doing at bats we're doing every inning it'll either say like no runs or men on base or an rbi you know uh so that's how we're going to do this we uh, basically what happened was I gave he gave I, I asked Jared for a bunch of hitters. Um, we don't go with like a like a traditional batting order because uh, you're going to again you're not it doesn't have to be like Riley and then Swanson and then you know it doesn't have to be like your third batter and your fourth batter. It's basically who's you know the the next highlight. So. That's how we're doing it. So I basically uh, took his eight, shuffled them up, um, and put them out. I took my eight because uh, again, pitchers uh, were batting in twenty twenty one. So there's a actual blank ninth spot because you know the pitchers don't matter in this uh, thing. Um, and then we have our pitchers. Uh, he gave me the starting pitchers and a bullpen hero. The bullpen hero is going to act like your entire bullpen for the entire game so you could technically in the game have three or four relievers but you're really only going to be using aj mentor's card or anthony bender's card so we'll get into 
get into it, and I'll try to explain more as we go. So Austin Riley will be the first uh, card we use, the first up in the Atlanta top of the first. Uh, we have 255. Five. So we always look from low to high um, on the dice. So is it the pitcher a struggler? No. Is Austin Riley a utility batter? No. So it's men on base, minus one from the black die. So the black die is five. So a black die four would be runners on first and third. So Riley brings that up. So now we go first and third, and Dansby Swanson is going to be the batter. Not a good start for Sandy Alcantara. Already giving up two base runners. Oh. Once, oh, sorry, I'm rolling on the wrong cart. <laughs> so when we're getting our men on base, you go to the next cart. <laughs> and then you roll two die. And still the dude does this die, they're die. Uh, three, four. Um, a slugger hits a double and rolls again. And that is, he is a double. Uh, or he's, so we're going to get... Or he's a slugger, so there's a double. One run is going to score, and we're going to have second and third for this, and it's a roll again. So Freddie Freeman's going to come up. And a 66, that's not good because it's a d scrapper rolls again. Freddie Freeman is not a scrapper, so he's going to double and roll again. So we now have three runs have scored in this first inning. And we're still not done, because Ozzy Albies is up with a man on second. 3-5. Control pitcher. Yes. So control pitcher, ground out, end of inning. So there we go. That's our first uh, inning, or our first half an inning. So, in the first, three runs score. And that's going to be how we end the first. It will be Soler up. Sorry. I had to think about it for a second. But, yes, three runs have scored. And we have Brian Anderson leading us off in the bottom of the first for the Marlins. Uh, one, two, two. Oops. Switch over our cards. 1-2-2. Two, two. Is Max Reed struggler? No. Is Brian Anderson a champion? No. So there will be no runs. So just a good, good, solid inning there for Max Freed. So no runs. So we're going right to the second, and it's going to be Jorge Soler, which pains me because he's a Marlin now. 4-5-6 with the duck. 4-5-6. Pitcher not fresh. No, he is fresh, so uh, so no. Uh, champion batter, no. No runs. Oh, wait. Hold on. Actually, no. There will be a run. So, wait. Four, five, six, yes. So I'm, I'm, it is going to be a home run. Because here it is. So we got through here. It says no runs or solo home run. The rule for solo home run is if the batter is a home run king quality, he hits a solo home run. If the black die is sick, he hits a home run king or a slugger can hit a home run. The fact is he's a slugger, a home run king, and the black die was a six. So no matter what, he got a home run. So... That is another run for the Marlins. Jorge Soler with the bomb. And I'm crying internally. No. <laughs> Ronald Acuna Jr. Are we throwing inside? No. One, two, three. Is Sandy a workman or struggler? No. Um, is Acuna a champion better? No. So no runs. So he'll end that inning. Wait, actually. Oh, 
either way, it does not matter. But I'm wondering, did the inning end because of that home run? It doesn't say, so I think it still adds on. But, but still, one run is there. And we are going to the bottom of the second with Jorge Alvaro. Uh, 246. Is there a star pitching? There is, so no runs again. Max Fried is just taking control of this game. And it is... It, see, that's how why it's expressed, because every time the Marlins bat, it's one roll and you're done. <laughs> so Jock Peterson's going to be up for the uh, the Braves in the top of the third. Uh, one, two, five. Uh, pitcher not fresh? No, he is fresh. Champion batter? No, so no runs. So there we go. First inning for the Marlins that, or for the Braves that they didn't score a run. Okay, we're going with Brian De La Cruz. I had a big debate on De La Cruz versus Jesus Sanchez in this game, but uh, one one two. Do we have an ace pitcher? No. Do we have a sad sack? Um, no. Um, and so it's an RBI, decider dies, yes or no, then EOI, end of inning. And the problem is the decider die says no. So <sighs> once again, the Marlins scoreless. So three innings played, and we are now at four to nothing. So Eddie Rosario going to be up. Uh, two, four, four. Uh, ace pitcher, no. Utility batter, no. He actually only has one quality, so it's going to be man on base, minus one from black die if control. He has control. So there's only a two on the black die, so there's only going to be one man on base. All right. So we're going to go back to the man on base chart. Man on first for Austin Riley. Oh, I rolled too many dice. <laughs> okay. Uh, one, four. Scrapper. Uh, scrapper. Hit single. Then end of inning, which he's not a scrapper, so it will be a double and roll again. Okay, so it's the man on second and third for Swanson. Oh, I'm sorry. No, actually, I, I'm wrong. It is going to be a double. And... Yeah, it is going to be a double and a run scored. Because on here it says, results from this column, runners advance two bases and score on a double. So it's actually going to be a run for... Uh, for Dansby... Or for Austin Riley. So Swanson up with that man on second. Drop a die because I'm only supposed to roll two. Five, six. Patient batter draws walk. Uh, he's not a patient batter. Uh, so otherwise we roll for contact. So let's see. We roll again for contact. Uh, RBI, then an EOI. Um, unless he's a whiff or batter versus a flash pitcher and roll to the side or die for a strikeout, which we did. Okay, so it's actually no runs. Thankfully, the whiffer versus uh, flash got the strikeout. But a run did score, so it is now a 5 nothing uh, game. All right, we go to the bottom of the fourth. Uh, we have, so that would be Starling Marte. 256. Workman pitcher, no. Sad sack batter, no. So it's men on base, one minus the, if he has flash, which he does, 
So it is runner at first and third. There we go. Runner at first and third and Jazz Chisholm Jr. up. We're going to take our two die. We're going to split over two men on base. Uh, one, four. Scrapper hits single. Otherwise, double rolls again. He is not a scrapper, so this will be a double. Uh, and both run the score because of that list. Uh, so... Two runs are going to score on a two-run double by Jazz Chisholm, the cover athlete of <laughs> 2K23, or MLB The Show 23, sorry. Um, and so we're going to Adam Duvall, current Boston Red Sox. Uh, we have an error if uh, there's an iron fielder. And unlike my team, there is no iron fielders on the mar on the Braves. So it's going to be a ground out end of inning. So the Marlins do get two. But <laughs> that is it. So Okay, so we're back up to the fifth inning here. Top of the fifth. Uh, Freddie Freeman is up. Three, four, four. Is Sandy Workman? No. Is he, uh, Freddie Freeman a sad tech? No. Uh, so men on base, minus one if control, which he does. So it'll be a two, which means a runner on second. So basically a double for Freddie Freeman. Ozzy Albies will be the next batter. With a man on second. Uh, three six. Active batter. Oh, active batter gets a. I don't know what an RA2 single is, but a single is stolen base. Um, he is not active, so it's going to be rolled on the contact. So we roll on the contact. It's going to be an RBI and a uh, EOI unless it's a whiffer, which I have to roll. He is a whiffer. Okay, so no. So it's actually going to be a strikeout because RBI, then EOI, unless it's that whiffer batter versus flash uh, pitcher, and the die was the strikeout. Actually, no, I have to roll the die actually a second time. Okay, it is still a strikeout. Because <laughs> I had to roll the die. The first die roll was actually for, was he a whiffer, which he was, and then uh, the second roll was for the strikeout. So, no runs in that inning. It is still 5-2. to two. Uh, Miguel Rojas up. One, two, two. Struggler. No. Champion. Not a chance. Um, <laughs> no runs. So that was a very quick inning for the Marlins. <laughs> so we're going to go to game, or the sixth inning. This is probably going to be Sandy's last inning. Probably Freed's too, but we'll see. Uh, two, three, five. Star pitcher, yes. No runs. Okay. So there we go. We're starting to get the the, uh, the pitcher. Well, the pitcher is starting to get better on the Marlins side. Only one run in the last four innings. It was just that bad first inning. All right. Miami. Jesus Aguilar. Two, five, six for Thick Jesus. I said it. Workman, no. Sad sack, no. Men on base, uh, minus one. 
if Flash. Uh, he is Flash, so it'll be a five. So runners on second and third. Uh-oh, is this the time? Is this the time to tie it up? We have Brian Anderson up. Four, six. Same or reliever gets strikeout. Uh, we have a lefty versus righty, so no. Oh, it's going to be a contact. Champion gets RBI. Otherwise, it'll just be a pop-up. No champion. So nothing happens. Whoa. <sighs> What's funny is there was a thought in my head to switch up Freed at this point when we had men at second and third and this and that, but I didn't want to start an inning or... I wanted to start an inning with the reliever. That way he gets the full inning, you know, as fresh. But because I didn't do that, Brian Anderson pops up. <laughs> All right, so Anthony Bender is going to come on in the seventh. Or our bullpen hero is going to come on. So that is it for Sandy Alcantara. So Lair back up. Lair after putting one in into the bleachers earlier. One three four. Ace pitcher. He's is because he's a semi ace with the dot. So ace pitcher, yes. No runs. Great job, Anthony Bender. Okay, and I'm going to put in the bullpen for the Braves and A.J. Minter now. I was not, I was thinking maybe a, ninth, a seventh inning with him, but, because uh, he's done so well, but with that second and third, I was like, I don't know. With the not having fresh anymore, let's go. Al Faro up. One, four, five. Ace or dynamic pitcher? No. Sad tech better, no. So it's men on base, minus one if flash. But, there we go. There's a new wrinkle in it. So again, men on, blaze, men on base, if uh, black die is flash. Well, the black, or the black die is a one, and he has flash. So that means it's a zero, and in this rule, uh, if the adjustment black guy goes to zero, then it is considered a no run inning. So it looked like we were going to get a man on, but no Minter holding it down. So we go to the eighth. It is five to two. One, two, six. A struggler or gilded pitcher? No. Hero batter. Oh, darn it. <laughs> it's Ronald Acuna. Uh, he's semi-hero, and there is a dot. Yes, men on base with that symbol again. Uh, so adjust if he's active, or I get a roll. Uh, oh, this could be, if this roll is... Oh, actually, it will definitely be a one no matter what, but it could be a two. It is a two, so the basically what I had to do was I had to men on base, I had to roll to see if he was a semi active, if he was gonna be active or not. Uh he was active. Um so there's going to be a man on second. So Acuna gets on. Peterson gonna be up. Two five six. Oh no, what wrong wrong roll. But at least I catch it. <laughs> I think I'm counting my I think I only made one mess up earlier. And as of right now it doesn't affect the game. Uh, good eye rolls again. Strikeout. 
EOI. He does not have good eye, so it is a strikeout. Uh, so no runs in the eighth. Okay, so we are going to the bottom of the eighth. Sorry about that. Uh, with Brian De La Cruz up. Uh, 135. Now, 135 in the actual game would be like an unusual unusual result. In this case, it's asking for an ace pitcher. No. A champion batter. No. So, no runs. So, that means we go to the ninth. It is 5-2. to two. And it's Eddie Rosario up. Please don't give me the, anything with like a solo home run because he, he is a home run king. A uh, two four five. Struggler pitcher no. Sad tech batter no. So it's men on base. Uh, negative one for flash or control. He has flash. Um, so it will be negative one. So four runner on first and third. Oh no, first and third with Austin Riley up. This could be tough. I'll put a die over. Three three with a dot. Scrapper singles. No, this is not good. I don't like the way that's sounding. Scrapper singles, which he is not. So it's a triple. Roll again. So two runs are gonna score. And there's going to be a man on third. Uh, three six. Is he an active batter? No. So it's going to go to contact. I'll roll that. I'll roll the decider just in case. Um, sad tech or utility pops out. He is. He's semi-utility. He the utility die is out there, so or the utility die. The decider die is a dot, so he is utility. So pop out EOI. But a run did no oh, two. Yes, two runs scored on that. So seven two two right now, going into the bottom of the ninth. Darling Marte, you have to be the starter, the hero, before you go to the Mets. Actually, before we go to the A's, right? Didn't we trade him in the middle of the year to the A's for Jesus Lazarda? That's right. Uh, two, three, five. Star pitcher, no. Sad tech batter, no. Two, three, five is the men on base with one, minus one for black die. If flash, which he is. So that will be a two. So there will be a runner on second. So he doubles. Back to Jazz, who got the two runs earlier. Oh, three, six. Isn't that the same? It's active batter. He's semi-active. Got the dot. So he's going... Jazz is going to get... A single and a stolen base. But the runner only advances one. So that's going to essentially make it second and third with Duval up. Oh, the pressure is looming here. <laughs> one, four. Scrapper hits a single, double rolls again. Okay, he does it. So he's going to get a double. And he's going to score both runs here. So two run double for Adam Duvall. And we need three more runs though. <laughs> two run double for Adam Duvall if Miguel Rojas is up. Uh, batting team dissidents or pitching team harmony. Darn it. Because the dot came up, it will be a pitching team harmony. 
So, fly out ends the game. <laughs> so, remember, I said that both teams were semi-harmonious, and the dot came up, so the pitching team will be harmonious. Uh, so, four, five, seven runs for Atlanta. And four runs for the Marlins. Now, I will say, my mistake earlier when I read, I did not read this top part here. There might have been an extra run uh, for Atlanta that I didn't count. So it's either going to be a 7-4 to four win or an 8-4 to four win. I'll know more when I watch the video. But <laughs> but either way, the Atlanta Braves started off with a 3 nothing lead and did not need anything else, really. They ended up with the big win, 7-4, to four, to start off our first game. Uh, our next game that we'll play in the next video will be Charlie Morton taking on Pablo Lopez. So we'll get to that video next time. Uh, just want to thank everyone who comes in and watches. I uh, hope everyone's doing well. We'll be back very soon with many more videos. I'm kind of coming out with an idea for the a uh, review channel like or review show every like one week or so. Put up a game, either board game or a computer game um, and doing a quick review of that but we'll see how it goes uh, so everyone take care we'll see you soon uh, have a great night and we'll see you next time bye now